Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Game Bros Unboxed. This is a special series which we're doing called Game Bros Catch Up with Indie Box. We've missed a few boxes in the past, as some of you might know. We apologize for that scheduling conflict, all that stuff. We're catching up. So we did two boxes already. If you want to see what those boxes were, check out the annotation right here for a quick moment, or just check out the link below in the description. This is part two of the catch up. So let's get started today. Eh? First up we have, I actually, I don't know what games we're doing here. Lovers. It's not that kind of game. I'm sure it is in dangerous space time. Lovers in dangerous space time. I have no context for this at all. Let's see, in a frantic one or two player uh, couch co-op action, blah, 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 shooters, winner of best of packs <laughs> and official select. <laughs> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. So yeah, let's see what's inside this bad boy of lovers, lovers, I love love. First off, we have this. Dr. Hopsy Flopsy. It is actually a figure of a thing. It is, yeah, Dr. Flopsy Wopsy Bopsy Dopsy. It looks like a scientist uh, thing. I, I know it's a bunny, shut up. And uh, yeah, Dr. Hopsy Flopsy. That's yeah, a little figure and all that. Nothing else in here. Nothing. Next up we have, I'm guessing it's a poster. Real shame that they have to fold it. Now you got all the creases, but whatever. Oh, it is a blueprint map thing. Breaking down the Death Star, whatever the hell it is. Oh, they have a mechanism in there in the shape of a heart. And next up, you have the instruction manual. If you've seen the show for a while, you figure what it is. Developer notes, blah -de blah how to play. Here are some assets in here. Here are the enemies. And Hazards and rank upgrades and indie box. We sponsored this, I guess. Ah, most excellent. Next up, you get the original soundtrack of the game, Lovers. Nice 19 tracks. Uh, pretty go together. Uh, ooh, original soundtrack by Ryan Henwood. Good job, mate. You did a great job. I have no idea what the music sounds like, but I'm sure you did a good job. Pat yourself on the back. Oh, it's a heart of a. A Canadian from South Park with a bumblebee Canadian. Cool. Ah, uh, the next thing you get is a. Uh, oh, it's a double necklace of our uh, Death Star uh, heart spaceship thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> look at that, folks. You get two necklaces. Come together to make a heart. I know it's not a good way to put a heart together, but yeah, so you can give it to your significant other. You can give it to your girlfriend, boyfriend, anything in between and all that stuff. Between two people who care about each other. This shit is useless to me. Next up you get a thing from Doctor Who. I think. I don't know. Wait, let me open this real quick. Uh, by my eye, it looks like a racer, but... Oh, it's a USB thing. I guess this is where the game is in now, instead of one of those card cartridges. That was redundant. But yeah, I guess that's where your copy of the game will be. This eraser likeness. Yeah, that's where your game is. Cool. And as you get the Indie Box sticker that has a collab on it. It's got a weird uh, thing on it with the bunny saying hi. Isn't that cute? Boo. Okay, so a quick breakdown of what you got. You got the collector's box, you got the USB walker thing, I guess that's what that's called. The instruction manual for the norm. Uh, let's see, you got the uh, indie box sticker, the other indie box sticker, the lover's soundtrack. Ooh, get the Dr. Hopsy Copsy Wopsy uh, penis statue. You get the lover's necklace thing, gumball schematic uh, uh, poster. You saw it once, you don't need to see it again. Uh, more lover stickers in the newsletter. And so, that has been Lovers. Again, not that kind of game. So, uh, that's our first box, but we're not done yet. We have one more box to go, so, Editor Jay, 
Show me the money shot! That was a long choice of words. All right, folks, so the next thing we're doing is Nuclear Throne. I was told by Editor J that Jared and John have played this before. Not on the channel per se, but they say it's a good, very easy game to play. Anyone can beat it, even a child who is blind, deaf, and you should feel sorry for me for saying that because people die. That's what people do. First up we get, oh, we get a leech, the coin purse. I think that's what this is, a coin purse. Yeah, no, it's a coin purse. Uh, yeah, no, you uh, put your coins in here and if anyone tries to steal your leech, just show them the space and they're like, nope, I'm good. Instruction manual, pretty normal. Ugh. Stickers, <laughs> yeah, you get more stickers. You can't get enough of those. And here is a redeem the code for PlayStation. It's got a little code back here. I'm not going to show it to you, of course. But yeah, I guess you can go on the PSN and download a PlayStation copy of it. I don't know. It's for the PS4. Okay. So yeah, PS4 copy. That's real nice. More stickers. Indie box uh, crossover. And uh, an actual sticker. Why are they giving me so many stickers? What the hell? Stickers. It's stickers. Well, you get the coin purse thing, so I guess that's where most of the money went. And once again, you get the soundtrack to the game, which... It's not sealed and it actually slides out, so uh, no scratches on it, but still would have been nice if you guys sealed that for us, but whatever. Official soundtrack by Jukio Kalio. I think I said that right. I don't know. I don't care. I'm sure it's a good soundtrack. Pat yourself on the back. Do it! Got a couple more doodads in here. Ah, this looks like a magnet. I'm assuming it's a magnet. Of a chicken Pokemon reject. Oh wait, no, I know what this is. USB! Oh! All your games are now in these. So it's not a magnet. It's a, a eraser sticker thing. I don't know. Some, something like that. Things! You got things. This is why I bring the scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly why I brought the scissors. So they can't cut. They can't cut. Ah. So you got this dude. I don't know what his deal is. You got another dude, blue, he can't stand, and you got another Pokemon Reject Cerberus thing. Kind of a cool design though, a little bell though. This guy's teeth is like painted poorly into his eyes, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but good job on that. Okay, hang out with this other dude, this guy who won't stand. Oh, look at that, he stands. Oh no. So here's a breakdown of what you get for your Nuclear Throne collector's box. Yeah, you get the collector's box. You get the uh, USB chicken. You get the instruction manual, obviously. Indie box stickers. Uh, Nuclear Throne soundtrack right here. Bada bang. So you got the minifigures. You got the plush maggot. The no po po stickers. I don't know what that is. More Nuclear Throne stickers. And you get this newsletter. All right, folks. Well, that has been part two of the Indie Box Breakdown. Wow, I am suddenly tired. Thank you for joining me on Indie Box Unbox, Boxing, Catch Up. Catch Up, yeah, Catch Up, not sponsored by Heinz Catch Up. So if you're interested in getting your own copy of Indie Box or you want to sign up for their subscription, be sure to check out the link below in the description. And we will have another part on Indie Box Catch Up momentarily. So here's the annotation if you want to check out part three, if it's available, it's probably not right now. But if it is available, click on the link below. Click on the annotation if you want to see part three, if it is up. If it's not, then it just says coming soon. What does it say? I don't know. I'm pre-recording this, so how would I know? This has been Matt Seller with part two of the Catching Up with the Indie Box Unbox. I really gotta figure out the title for all this. To be continued! <laughs> Sup everyone! If you like this video, then don't forget to give us a big thumbs up! And to see more episodes of Unbox featuring IndieBox and various collector's editions of games, then be sure to subscribe to our channel! With new Let's Play episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, you'll always have something to watch!
Check out the description box below to get some details on how you can get your hands on IndieBox yourself. And if you have any comments about the IndieBox games that I reviewed, or you have the game for yourself, then tell us about it in the comments section. This is Matt signing off saying, peace out.